Hello, and welcome to my channel. My name is Erin, and I'm so happy that you're here. I'm a Reiki practitioner, and tonight I just wanted to make this video... Sorry, there's a train. <laughs> just wanted to make this video for the collective to support relaxation, rejuvenation, healing. Specifically, I wanted to focus on heart center today. And as it is the first day of Leo season, it's all about the heart, courage, your inner flame, your um, passion, so wanted to focus on the heart center today and we'll get um, there isn't anything that you have to do if you would like to just use this video as a supportive asmr style video that's totally fine um if you would like to participate in the reiki portion of it all you have to do is just say that you are willing to accept um, the healing energy as like an energy gift card of sorts. So let's get started here. I'm gonna take this candle that I have. So this is a seashell that I got at the beach. And I have some lavender, some rosemary that I got from my garden that I'm drying out here. You want to just focus on the flame and set your intention here with me if you have any specific intentions. On behalf of your and my and everyone else's highest and greatest good in perfect comfort, balance, alignment, and peace, I wish to conduct this by proxy distance Reiki healing session to support in helping the collective's heart center light the way for them, for you, and listening deeply to our hearts. Okay, set this up here. here that's very floral. Also smell this like um, patchouli. Just gonna help us clear, do a smoke cleansing around your energetic body. Coming around your arms, your shoulders. Your heart center. And 
imagining your energetic body in front of me here and I'm going to be drawing some of the Reiki symbols I'll let this burn over here. I also wanted to just show you this candle that I got from House of Intuition. It says, you are love. And in it, it had a little crystal at the bottom. I'm not sure what it was, but you burned it, you burn it all the way down, and then you get the crystal at the bottom. And it has a little message here that I want to share. It says, You are loved unconditionally. Let yourself know you are loved. Or gift this to someone in your life to let them know you are they are wholly loved by you. It smells good too. Okay. Next, I'm gonna take this selenite. And just comb through your aura around you, just clearing and cleansing anything that is no longer serving you. That would be helpful for you to release right now. I'm seeing a um, jaguar your crown chakra at the top of your head and I'll link below more information on that but even if you have like a journaling practice or anything just journaling what a jaguar means to you represents the crown is associated with your connection to the divine Coming down through your right arm, your right palm, your left arm, your left palm, your heart center. solar plexus right below your heart center which is your area of confidence your sacral chakra just below that your area of creativity passion and your root which is your sense of safety not touching you um, any of this during any of this either, just going um, around your body and always in respect for your boundaries. I'm seeing like waves down here, like big ocean waves. Um, 
It's a lot of emotional, I want to say like riptides, but like it's just a lot going on in the world collectively, energetically, and I just want to soothe that space for you with some of the Reiki symbols here. Knowing that you are safe, you are worthy of safety, you deserve to feel safe in your life and in your relationships. And in your surroundings as well. these really pretty purple flowers. I don't know what they are. They look maybe like lilies or lilies come up a lot, like trumpet lilies. I think that came up in the last video. Mm. Holding my hands at your heart center. I'm going to be placing this peacock ore that I have at your heart here. Actually, I'm going to be placing it at your third eye, just right here. I'm seeing a tumbleweed there. Your sense of intuition. have this rose quartz that I will be placing at your heart center. Just channeling all of that loving energy, that unconditional love for yourself, for others, the ability to forgive, to let go, of any resentment or fear to break down any walls in your heart and knowing that you are safe and protected but that you deserve to let your heart shine and you deserve to let the flame in your heart shine
placing this at your heart. Next, I have this forest scented oil. And I'm just going to be placing um, a little bit on my hands here and then just bringing more of that grounded energy. Just knowing that you are safe and that your surroundings are important and that it's important for you to feel safe. This smells like pine. There's like juniper berries in it. It's like these cool berries. It's pretty cool. So. I'm also going to be placing this. tourmaline at your feet and if you just want to allow any frazzled anxious fear energy just absorbing into this black tourmaline letting it kind of settle at your feet and absorbing what is no longer serving you, what's heavy, what's frazzled, just go ahead and imagine that and know that that energy will just be recycled um, into the earth and transmuted and that you, if you choose, don't have to carry as much tonight or right now. So placing this at your feet. Seeing like clouds just all around you too. And like this fog up here, it's like lifting and just assisting with that fog to lift and have let there be clarity. It's safe for you to let go. It's safe for you to relax. I'm also feeling pulled to pick a tarot card for you, for the collective. Um, and I'm just gonna shuffle. This is the Line Striders deck by Silo Thompson. I'm just gonna shuffle and ask what message or what kind of energy would be most beneficial for the collective, for the people watching this to hear right now. And this one kind of popped out. Oh yeah, this makes sense. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so this is the chariot. And the chariot is all about 
change and kind of like an uproar of energy and movement and forward like <laughs> that's how I can describe it and this card is asking you to remain as balanced as you can in that wild horse energy <laughs> in the wildness that is your current life situation or this change that you're going through I feel like it also speaks to like other realms in a way of like there can be such polar opposites happening like pools to different sides but like at the base of everything like is a space where you can just settle in like often when I meditate I imagine like going below the surface of the water where all of the waves are and diving underneath where it's like quiet and still and this card right now is just telling me like even when there's so much happening on this earthly plane to know that it's all in divine order it's all part of your journey your plan your whatever you believe in um, and just to remain as balanced as you can in that and know that this is big energy that's happening I'm gonna look at my guidebook here really quick too Focus, ambition, progress, self-discipline, sacrifice, forward motion, travel, victory. The charioteer holds no reins. The horses have no bridles. They are directed through strength of will and balance. The chariot represents struggle, internal or external, and victory that victory through will and discipline. You must be level-headed, disciplined, and in control of your passion and your intellect in order to triumph over recent di difficulties or limitations. If the chariot appears in a reading in the present position, the message is all about reaching your goals and moving towards those things in life you wish to attain. You may be you may experience a period of triumph or goal attainment. Mm. Number seven. Astrology. The correspondence with astrology are Cancer and Sagittarius. I'm going to close out our session with my singing bowl here, just allowing these healing frequencies to further relax you, replenish you, and open your heart and your power and strength.
Okay, before I go, I'm just gonna fluff your aura here. Getting it nice and cozy. Behind you, behind your head. Thank you for being here. I hope that was relaxing for you. And please feel free to subscribe, comment, like, let me know what kind of videos you would like to see in the future. I'd be happy to um, honor those. And thank you to those who have subscribed. I am very, very grateful. And those of you who have commented and shared um, so far, I just, I really appreciate it. So thank you again. Take care. Be well. Namaste.